I have a table full of deliciousness, and I'll explain this in just a minute, but the new school year has finally arrived, and that means that it's time for parents to start this, packing up the lunches again, which certainly can feel like a chore, and it gets so boring for the kids sometimes. So how can we make something that is quick, that's easy, nutritious, also fun? You want to make sure you're getting all the different food groups in a lunch, so packing fruits, vegetables, protein, grains, and dairy. Um, a lot of times we're just packing like a sandwich and chips or something like that. Yes, that's what a lot of us are doing. But Evelyn Benton is a pediatric registered dietitian for Cleveland Clinic Children's. She says what your child eats for lunch really does matter, especially since it can affect their energy levels, their ability to concentrate. And she says their lunches do not have to be elaborate. Elaborate. I know she said all the food groups, and that might be a lot to consider. But maybe you have leftovers from the night before. You could pack those in an insulated container. Meal prepping is also a huge time saver. You don't want to put things in their lunch that they really don't like because they're definitely not going to eat them. So maybe those foods that are harder have at home at dinner or on the weekends and pick things that you know they're able to eat. All right, so a lot of kids eat cafeteria lunches, and she brought in the point that schools normally have to follow certain nutrition guidelines, which is a good thing, but it doesn't hurt to look at the meals ahead of time so you can make sure that your kids are eating healthy foods and also maybe some things to avoid. So simple things that you can pack. We said sandwiches, low-fat cheeses, yogurt, you know, those are all good options, but we found some things upstairs um, in our little canteen that really make for good lunches. But, Bruce, first you have to have the... <laughs> packing utensils. Accoutrements. Uh, yes, accoutrements, all of that. Or a lunchbox or Plastic a box stuff. that works. Yeah. So like this is an example where you could put something like yogurt or a dip with maybe your carrots in there. You can't do it unless you have it. And there's so many great bento boxes and things that are available. So this is just one where you can fill maybe a little sandwich, cutting off the edges and getting that in there. And then also, you know, something like that. So first start with this. Then... Really embarrass your kid and cut them in shapes. They they love that Sometimes. in elementary school. Not yeah. when they're not like you have a senior, so you wouldn't do that. But, you know, we're talking carrots, you know, grapes. You know, these are things, but you need to keep them cool. That's really important. Um, but eggs, you know, you saw a little girl eating eggs, and this is pre-made, so it costs a little more. But you can boil an egg for a couple bucks, oh, like yeah. for a whole dozen. String cheese, you like anything on here? Oh, yeah, it's, 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 I love string it's cheese. It's going to cost you $5. You know, you, you can you can actually buy that. And when they have the BOGOs? Yeah, that's the way to go. You know, go. you can save money. You know, and I think part of what they were saying, just quickly, um, you know, the Lunchables, the kids love it. So you could buy something like this, which is a protein pack, or you can make your own Lunchable. You know, have them cut out their own meat, put in their own cheeses, and have them be a part of it and make it a little fun. So. And, you know, they've got uh, the jerky. Um, they make turkey. Mm -hmm. Jerky. Yeah, So it might be a little kinds. healthier for you. And, and kids, if you're really smart and mom and dad pack something you don't like, Traded. You can always trade. Yes, yes. I remember those days. Yeah. Trade your carrots for a Twinkie. Good luck with that. <laughs> and, and by the way, Mom and Dad, Twinkies last forever. <laughs> Just like Richard's forecast. <laughs>